Okay, and looking at the design, what you can do is whenever you open up a design that was created by another individual, always open up the object manager and it'll actually walk you through the steps and how they've actually created it. You can see here that it's going to do the ES first. I click on the first stitch pack, that's the ES, and it's doing what's called a middle out embroidery, which is what you want to do on caps. So then it goes to group, then it goes to the right line, and then it does the word property. And then it does the left line. Then it's going to go up and do Alvarado and then Robert. So it's working on a middle of the hat outwards technique, which is what you want to see. And then there's a color change. So all these are all part of the same color change. Okay. So whatever color this information is going to be, you're going to program that needle first. Then the second section is right here, the green section. So it's going to do that uh, middle part. A uh, small little part right there that is going to do the uh, bulk of the R and then the left arm of the R. So this is your second color change. Okay. Always look at these are not different color changes here. This is just one section of the design. This here is the second color change of the design. And then the blue is the third color change of the design. So always open up the software, open up the design of software and see how they created it. Now, um, I'll take a, so see the blue is actually the line in that. So in their color profiling, when they actually sent you, uh, the run sheet, okay, they really didn't indicate which color is first, second, or third here. I mean, they tell you, you got three color changes here. One is uh, 1173 stitches. One is 1166 and the other one is 1173 stitches again but it's a three color design and as you can see it's going to do all the robert alvarado properties group first then it's going to do the uh, the blue section you see here and the last section is the bottom part of the r and the top line and in looking at your image that i think that you sent them let's bring it up here No, this is it. This is the final. So this is how they program their machine to run it. You see, they they didn't program the third color to run different, uh, which would be this top line and that bottom part of the R. Let me just see in your previous um, previous call. Hold on one second. Let's look at the logo. I think you've actually have it in here. This is what you sent to them. Okay. So it looks like it should be two colors. So what I can do in, if that's the way it's supposed to look, then we can actually do all this as one color. So uh, whenever you get a problem like this, for some reason, they, they divided into a third color here. I'm not sure why they did that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these the same as the green. Okay. And no, the same as the red. There we go. And then now that's. So what we want this to do is we are going to do these three parts first. Okay. Uh, the R, we're going to do the R first, and then we'll do all the red. We don't want it to do this red. We don't want it to do all this red and then change the color and then do the last red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to the top. You just drag it up to the top. Now we just resequenced it. So it's going to now do the bottom part of the R, top part, left part. And we could probably do uh, the leg first. So I'm going to do the leg first. Okay. Then the line. I'm going to bring the line up underneath number four. And then we'll do uh, Alvarado. Second. So I just click on here to see how it's going to do. It's going to do that part first. That part. This. Then the leg, 
then the line, then Alvarado. And then we want to do Robert. We're going to put Robert right underneath that stitch number six. And then it's going to do ES, group, line, property, and line. Okay, so now we've sequenced this. So what I want to do is take a look at my simulation screen. Everything still looks the same. Okay, there are no thread trims that I need to incorporate there. You don't want to do the thread trim between the L and the V because you're not going to see that. Okay, and all the way out, that's going to get blended into the fabric of the hat. So, so now we just fixed the problem. So now we could prove this by going to File, go to Print, Print Formats, and we'll look at it and see how many color changes we have. Okay, so first thing I got to do is put, since green is the first color to sell, I need to put the green over on the left sidebar up above it. There is. So we got the sequence correct with the thread stitching over here. So now when we go into print formats, we'll see it as, as it is. I'm going to go to basic information. I'm going to go to simulation, or not sure simulation sheet, but I'm going to go to embroidery text sheet. And we should be able to see we only have two colors now. Okay, there's the color changes. So it's the green first in the design, followed by the red. And there's the tear sheet. So now it's a two color design.